This is a walkthrough slash playthrough of Harvester's Reach version 5. You can see the version at the top right. So there's a bunch of different versions of these things. And I'm just going to do a playthrough of whichever one it gave me since I don't really know what other way to tackle these videos since there's just like 20 versions of everything. So hopefully between watching this and mainly just between watching this, you'll be able to, you know, get a better idea of how to do it. Or if you just want to see the game and see the level, um, you can see it through my playthrough. Have you seen Drea? My wife. She's... We were taken. Oh, Some this is a long one. Something. I'm gonna explore between his dialogues. She, she, uh, she make it. <laughs> you, you fought your way here, didn't you? Oh, please, will you look for her? I, I do anything. <laughs> Please, if you see Drea, please. Okay, oh, exhausted at all. That's a perfect example of when I'm glad that they have a limited number of dialogue options, because otherwise you sit there forever and wonder if there's more that he's going to say. Maybe there was more he's going to say, but I don't care. All right, let's see what we got in this area. God, that's that's a nightmare for controller players. That's an annoying one to try to hit. Man, is it dark down there? Alright, so it looks like it's gonna be more about creatures than it's gonna be about humanoids. Good work. In our favor or against our favor, depending. I saw the little mouse things in here a second ago, I thought. The scariest thing in this game is crossing over corners like these right there and stuff. It's so easy to catch it and then fall through it. I literally died in the clock tower thing because of that. What's this? Oh, another Tome of Knowledge. Um, let's go deal with that real fast. I was just going to throw everything into HP because I really don't care. I'm a medic. My abilities don't really matter at all in a solo playthrough. I mean, they do, but... Getting my skills back does not uh, help me very much. All right, let's see which way do we want to go. Well, we go one way or we go the other way, so let's go. Good. Looks like a dead end, so I better check it real fast. That's just a weird dead end. I thought there'd be something back here around the corner or something, but I guess not. I had a feeling something like this was going to happen. Oh, of course. Oh, that's not him. Oh, no, I was trying to do something else. Okay, I'm dead. No, I needed to dodge that. I can't see anything. That could have gone better.
I gotta be aware of these guys. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Can I dodge those? I feel like I can, but I, I don't know any attest. I don't know why I'm so persistent on not wanting to use my dragon hearts or whatever they're called. I just do not want to use them. I'm so greedy about not using them. All right, let's see what now. It's a dead end, so we'll go here first. It's just so dark down here. Oh, there we go. I can see a little bit better now. All right, so that's a dead end. Gotta go this way. Oh, I wonder what this is gonna be. What's gonna kill me is um, more ads are gonna spawn. I just know it. Let's see what he does. Oh god, he knows how to get up. <laughs> there we go. This is much better. Oh, this is so good. Oh, no. I don't know why I did that. Maybe because he was blocking me. Oh my god. All right, where'd he go? <laughs> there he is. Oh god, I've got to reload this. Oh, he's over there. Right, his AI has no idea what the hell is going on. No, why didn't it jump? Why is it not jumping sometimes? It's scaring me. Oh! What the fuck? Dude. Well, time for him to regen. Can 
he, he can't figure out how to regen. He can't figure out where to go. He gave up. Yep. No! Oh my god, why can I not jump like 30% of the time? Ugh. Well. Him not being able to teleport really makes my life easy. him being able to regen, I mean. Got him. Rhea's anklet. And a new mutator. Relic fragment. Alrighty. Well, that's one way to do it. I don't think there's anything else over there. So let's move on to the next area. I wonder if the rats are going to attack me. Fey warrior ring. Those rats are going to attack me. I can just feel it. Listen to them. Melee damage. You know what? I'm doing it. I should go an all melee build. Oh, that, okay, that hitbox is enormous. Better just use this now. I was going to aim for upper chest, and if I hit him in the head or the neck, it'll just be a coincidence, but it's a good way to start practicing that controller aim and get it, get it down. I think that was how I did it back in the day whenever I would learn a new game where you have to aim, like the aim assist is different and stuff. You just always aim for right below the clavicle, and then whatever happens, happens after that. Oh, there's a secret room over here. I've got to know if I can shoot these out of the air. It's for science. I can, but without a mouse and keyboard, that's going to be almost impossible. I take it back. It's just going to be extremely difficult. Oh my god, it's like I bumped into something. Oh my god. Oh wow, that's what I'm supposed to do.
What's this? Burden of the Divine. All damage dealt by wear is reduced by 10%. 50% of self-healing applies to allies. Damn. If only I played in a group, that would actually be insane. Well, now there's water down there, but I don't think I ever go down there, so... I'm not really sure what that was about. Surely there's not, like, a secret way to get down. Oh, I better go look. It just looks like somewhere I'd be able to go. But, I'm not gonna risk it. That was a nice little detour. Oh, that's how you get up here. Ah, it was for this. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, we got some more to do. That's just to get back up if I fall down. Oh man, not another one. Oh god. Alright, where's somewhere I can cheese him? Uh, this is not the greatest of spots. Gotta be something better than that. This one could work. This one might work. Also, this one, this one really might do the trick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That is the one. Assuming it's some super boss again. By super boss, I mean boss. Oh my god, there's another one over in the corner. God, something tells me there's three of them. By something tells me, I mean there's three hallways, so... The three hallways tell me there may be three of them. Alright, what are we up against? Yep. Here we go again. Damn it. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I got him hit by electricity. Oh my god, the range on that. Oh, that was so satisfying. To be honest, that's what game developers get. They always try to make enemies too um, meticulous when they move. Like, they're so deliberate about their pathing instead of just picking areas and jumping from one to another and like making erratic, fast choices. Like, they always have it very um, controlled. To the point that's too controlled, and then it's just it, it's just too easy to abuse. Then. Another werewolf? Oh yeah. Oh, 
Oh, he didn't aggro. I should have shot him. Oh, damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. That thing hit me right then. I don't know why. I thought I, I thought I had read it based on his sound, but didn't do what I thought at all. Oh no, here he goes. Okay. Right, something tells me there's, a, there's another one over there. There's just no way there would only be two. I just don't believe it for a second. Oh, I guess I should have believed it for a second. All right, let's uh, check this room. Just making sure. Wow, a totally empty, pointless room. Okay, that's weird. All right, now we just got to go this way. So I'm just going to kind of run through this just because these little guys, if I just run, they don't really know how to hit me. So I'm just going to risk everything for um, expedience at this point. I am sick and tired of shooting them too. My gun just doesn't do enough damage. It just feels like exhausting to try to kill them. All right, now we can get back to the first area and come in from that direction. Oh my god, more of the wolves. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh my god. The gap's too big. That didn't work. Okay, we're back to the OG spot. Objective success. Got a trophy for that. New trait, Arcane Strike. Game needs a quest log. I have no idea what I did. I might have been in the map. What is that new trait? Who's chirping? Okay. Um. Is there a way to change it? I don't understand. Oh, they mean over here. 
Oh, arcane strike. Melee mod generation. Okay. Wasn't here, but I got found this. No, Smeagol. Smeagol sad. Man, those chirpy noises. They just never shut up. So, she's gone. Oh, like, what do you give me? Ring of Grace. Okay. Taking enemy damage causes 10% of maximum health to regenerate over 10 seconds. That's insane. That's so good. That, like, oh my god, if I build max HP, that's broken. Okay, I think that's that's it. Oh, no, there wasn't a secret room. That was just a little way you go down. Alright, there we go. That was uh, version 5 of Harvester's Reach. Now, each year version is going to be different. But something like that is how to fight all the enemy types, at least. So hopefully it helps you out. If you need any more help with Remnant 2, check the description of this video. I'll try to keep the description updated with all the videos that I've made and have them organized by, like, guides and different things or whatever. I don't know. What, whatever, whatever makes sense to organize them, I'll put them down there. But this was a quick little playthrough walkthrough of the fifth version of Harvester's Reach and Remnant 2.